Hi. Today, I'm going to talk about getting through your first holiday without your children. As I spoke about in a previous segment, holidays can trigger such incredible waves of sadness because they're a painful reminder of how things used to be when you were a family unit. And if this is your first holiday without your children, it can be especially painful, but you will survive and it will get better. Here are six tips to help you get through the holidays without your children. First, acknowledge your emotions and talk with someone about them, whether it's a close friend, a family member, or a professional. You shouldn't have to bear your feelings alone. This will help take a little air out of that emotional bubble, which will help you to be present and will help you to be more capable of sharing a little holiday excitement with your children, despite them not spending the holidays with you. Second, don't isolate yourself. Remember that staying home alone will keep you reaching for those negative habits and behavior like torturing yourself with the guilt over the divorce or going through all of the what ifs eating a quart of ice cream, or drinking yourself silly. It's so much better for you to spend the holidays with loved ones who love you and support you, friends and family who you could really be yourself with. And if you can't spend it with family and friends, volunteer. There are plenty of volunteering opportunities during the holiday season. Serving food at your local homeless shelter, for example. This would be a great activity because it would help you get perspective on things and help you to find gratitude for what you do still have. And of course, it would greatly help those who really need you. So check out the soup kitchens in your area or other community volunteering opportunities. Now keep in mind that many of these organizations require registration in advance to make sure to haul a call and plan ahead. Third, Keep your bravest and best holiday face on. Remember the divorce is between you and your former spouse, so please leave your kids out of it. Don't be depressed or sad or crying around them as they're getting ready to go to their dad's house. Instead, tell them you're going to miss them, but that you're really looking forward to doing some relaxing things or spending time with friends. Whatever you can do or say to take some of that anxiety away from them. Remember that you're their mommy and they love you and they worry about you too. So try and show some cheer for the kids' sake since they will be going through their own adjustments as well. Fourth, treat yourself. Whether it's putting on your warmest and coziest socks on and watching a great chick flick when you're home, running a hot scented bubble bath or going for a mani and petty or whatever makes you smile. Reading a book, listening to some music, do it. Treat yourself to it. You deserve it. Make sure to get some much needed rest as well. No need to be a martyr. Making self-care a priority will help you during this time. It would also help you to be better prepared physically and mentally for when your children return. Fifth, plan a new holiday tradition. Make it a point to celebrate the holidays with your kids when they return by doing something special together. Cook a nice dinner, bake a few treats, or have a pajama and movie night party. Make your own new fun traditions when they return. This will give you something fun and positive to look forward to and give your children something exciting to look forward to as well. And lastly, take care of yourself. During any painful fear period of your life, it is so important to take good care of yourself physically, spiritually, and mentally. So eat healthy foods, hit the gym or go for a run, take a walk in nature or meditate, or better yet, do both. Avoid anesthetizing yourself with drinking, binging, or other unhealthy things you may have done in the past to try to feel better. Grab dinner or watch a movie with a friend instead. Focus on finding gratitude by writing in your journal, sharing good food with friends, taking time and observing nature, and making the holidays special for your children despite things being different now. Tell yourself that as impossible as it may feel right now, you will get through the holidays. Things will get better, and each year it will get easier. So that's it. 
Thank you so much for watching. As always, please look below for important free resources. And please don't forget to uh, click on the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Take care.